What's good everybody? This is me, Domino, once again with another live commentary video. Uh, kind of pressed on time this week, so that's why I'm just going to do a quick uh, quick personal tier list for these six most recent Tolmaic units that came out. So, let's get started. First up, we got Deep Blowfish. Um, this was the boss from two events ago. The Man, this this thing just disappoints on, on every level. Like, the long range is okay, but the special attack is just awful. Um, this thing, this thing hits like a sheet of paper. It's made out of paper. The size of a paper boat. Like, I don't know. This 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 thing is awful all around. You you really got so many better options. Even if you're new to the game, like don't don't use this thing. I'm I, I'm gonna say that this this thing is an easy D. Like D for don't. Just just don't. Next up, we got Flying Tara version PM. This is the rare that accompanied the uh, Deep Blowfish. Uh, this thing, on the other hand, is actually quite usable. I think it's pretty good, and I used it for a little bit. Uh, it's 85 AP, but it gains back 74 AP. So, you know, you lose 11 AP, but you gain presence on the field. It's good for just providing covering fire while distracting certain targeting shots. Um, damage is pretty alright, and the production rate's not the worst. Uh, I like this unit. I honestly think it's a solid B. It's it's good if you got it and you got the space, but if you do, but if you don't have the space, I wouldn't try to force this thing in since it kind of lacks utility. Golden Tomaic Slug EX. This thing is a this thing is a king. Like for 238 AP, this thing is a nuke on wheels for a really low cost and pretty good production rate. Um. I think this thing is an A. I don't think it's an S tier king, and let me go over why. This big problem with this unit is that it's really bad at hitting things that are just right in front of it. There's a big gap. There's a big gap for its detection, and even when it does hit things ne right next to it, it only clips them with the shells. And not very good at ironically tanking shots either it's while you think having evasion is great for it it's evasion takes a long time it's, it's, it's a big vertical jump it wastes a lot of time and when you got area of effect attacks going on sometimes you don't want it to evade sometimes you just want to special and nuke the field but it's gonna keep jumping because Man, that that evasion is probably there to prevent this unit from being too good. Um, for those reasons, I think this this is just a solid A. Um, if you don't have any good bosses or if you don't have any good premiums, definitely stick this thing in there. Just be aware that it's not gonna carry you entirely. Like you still got to put in a little bit of effort to make it win your games, but if you go off of that basis, you know, just build your strat around this thing, you can probably find very good success using this thing. Uh, Golden Rebel Gigant, version PM. Um, this is just an okay boss. The, the real issue here being that his HP is just too low, even at plat. Like, the damage is, the damage is really good. The, Fire is always great. It's just this thing is this thing is hard capped by its HP and its size. Like it, it just doesn't have the just doesn't have the health to live in an era where doing a growl special takes off 250 250k and you don't even need to be growl to do that much off a of special. Like other the units can easily match that. Shoot. Even in, ironically, the the Golden Tolmaic Slug EX melts the, the, the boss. Like, you know, 
but I will say this, if you don't have any other bosses, you're starting off, you're new to the game, it's actually pretty good. Like, it's got good damage, and it's got a fair enough special. Like, and for those reasons, I give this unit a solid B. But, you know, use this if you're starting out, you don't have any bosses or premiums. But if you do, he's, he's a really easy skip. Little Lady Black. Man, I, I was I'm, I'm I was hyped for this unit. And I think she's I think she's fairly worth it. Um, she hits like a fucking tank because she is one. Um, like look at that, look at those punches. Mm, give me that shit. Uh, long range is fairly okay. However, she is pretty vulnerable when she starts getting into range. You can stun or silence her during that time when the Black Hound's visible. Um, the special attack is really... like this thing... oof, this thing melts the units. Like, look at that. That's... that's 30... that's 30,000 per frame. And then I don't even know what the... how active that is. But... she hits... she hits like a fright train. She hits like a fucking nuke. Um... Honestly, I think Little Lady Black, despite all that, she's a very high A, maybe a low S. Um, she's definitely a unit you want to invest some of these resistances into, especially stun and poison. Uh, she doesn't have that much bulk to begin with, and sure, she has a ton of iframes, but for the moments that she is vulnerable, she's really vulnerable. Like, she will get stunned if once she's in once she's in your face but if, from chariots or poisoned or silenced like she's great but you have to add on a little bit onto her to make her even better and yeah that's true for like every unit but for an in fighter like her where she just wants to stay up front as long as possible you definitely want to invest in these um, so again uh, long story short I think she's a very high a or a very or a low S. Um, not a bad unit. If you have her, go ahead, try like make her work. If you don't, um, but you have like other boss or other premiums, I wouldn't worry too much about it. Um, I just think she would shine more in a pure PM deck due to just you know you you you'd like look at this. You want to fucking buff this special in this in this short range. You you want this thing to fucking be a railgun. Um, Alright, uh, last unit. Special Sally. Believe it or not, I kind of thought Special Sally would suck. Boy, was I wrong as soon as I found out that she has a knockback counter. Like, holy shit. So, she has both stun immunity and knockback counter. And for a pretty, pretty reasonable cost of 221 AP, like, Damn, she is she is in there. Um, her damage isn't the highest, but it's just high enough where you will you will notice her just taking pot shots. She pairs super well with Special Achetto, who if you watch my videos, you know that I fucking love her. Frontline spawn, very annoying evasion. Like you pair those two together, and it's very hard to shake off. Uh, let's see. Special attack. Can't one-shot the base, but, like, you know, that's that, that's why you got nine other units to work with. Long range, actually pretty good. Um, she instantly teleports to wherever the unit is once she's in range. So that time where she vanishes, you can't push on that. She's already considered next to you by the time she does that. So that's really good for stopping momentum. Close range is kind of eh, like, whatever, what, who, who cares about that? Her knockback counter is pretty much her just close range attack, but given some shockwave so it actually goes a fair distance. This is great when you're dealing with the popular at the moment, golden slug noise, the occasional poison chariot, well occasional I ask, the common poison chariots if they happen to pro uh, proc knockback, 
special Owen if you happen to see him, Golden Gunner, uh, the new Slug Armor PF, like that thing just with the mines, like that thing just triggers her her knockback counter and honestly it's it's really good. Like man, a unit that you already cannot stun or knockback is very obnoxious. So special Sally, I think she's honestly easily an S, given all that info. And hell, she pairs with Little Lady Black and they kind of work together in sync. But yeah, that's, like I said, sorry for the short video, but I just don't have time this weekend. Um, yeah, give me, I'll see you guys, I'll see you guys uh, next time, uh, hopefully. Some gameplay showing off Little Lady Black and Special Sally. Laters.